Welcome back everybody. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, I just wanted to do a follow-up to my last video where my Kubota would not turn off when I moved the key from the uh, run position to the stop position. And as you can see, my key is now working. So let me show you again. Working right like that. So, I created another video of me putting the uh, fuel shutoff solenoid in, and somehow I mixed up some SD cards and erased it. Okay, this is the solenoid. Fits comfortably in the palm of your hand. And uh, just to give a little background on what a solenoid is. So, if you may have recalled, maybe in your science classes or something, you might have created an electromagnetic magnet using a battery and a nail and some wire. And you take that nail, you wrap it with copper wire, connect that copper wire, one end to the plus, one end to the negative, and you were able to pick up tacks or whatever. Well, this is the same thing, only we're going to put it, to, you know, solenoids are the, you know, how, how that thing functions and it gives us the ability. It's how your car starts. Your car has a solenoid in it and when you turn the key on, the solenoid gets energized. And when the solenoid gets energized, a, uh, the starter has a, a gear on it. And that gear goes out and engages the flywheel. At least this is how it did it back in the 60s and 70s. I don't know how they work anymore. And the older cars, you know, the, the gear would engage the uh, flywheel. The small gear on the starter would spin. That would in turn spin the engine, turn the engine over until it fires. In fact, this, this I guess you could say, has two solenoids. One on the starter and one here to shut the fuel off. So what happens, like I was saying in the other video, you put 12 volts on this pigtail and this armature gets drawn in by a magnetic field at the back and it sucks it in and it holds it in until the voltage is uh, removed. There's a timer and a relay. Once that timer times out, the power goes off and there's a spring either inside here or a spring on the mechanism down here. There's a spring here and then it gets drawn back out. So that's how it works and uh, I did verify it when I took it out that the solenoid is indeed bad and so what I'm going to do is give you a little close-up shot of, of the solenoid in funk in operation when it turns the engine off and then show you how you can manually shut the fuel off yourself uh, just realize you need to be very cautious of this fan inside here that cools your engine. I have all the body panels off and this here is the solenoid, the armature and this right here and this right here is the valve that shuts the fuel off so when the engine's running and if your solenoid goes bad it won't shut it off so what you could do is put your finger here on this red screw and push it back like that towards the rear of the engine that will shut the fuel off so let me demonstrate let me show you how the solenoid works normally as you can see when i turn it on nothing happened now we're going to shut it off notice how the armature went in and this moved and the relays on timeout there you saw it go out you can hear that click when you shut your engine off you can hear that click about five seconds after you turn the key off that's what you're hearing is this uh, armature being released from the uh, uh, solenoid or the electromagnetic coil in there 
So let me show you how you could do it manually. So let's say you're unable to shut it off with the key. You could turn it off manually that way. Well, that's how it is. I'm sorry I didn't get the uh, video of me uh, putting the uh, solenoid in, but Again, I apologize. I deleted the uh, SD card. And uh, next time I will uh, not delete anything until I make sure I got all the videos that I need. Somehow I, I took the SD card out of the camera, put it down on my desk, and then I got it mixed up with another one that I had there. And instead of putting the uh, the uh, one that was there on the desk, instead of putting it in, and I reinserted the same SD card that I uh, recorded the video. So, so folks, it is Memorial Day weekend, and I'm sure that most of you know the meaning behind the Memorial Day, but for those who don't, I'm just going to say a few words as a veteran. This weekend is a time for all, us to all take a moment to reflect upon the freedoms that we enjoy and the freedoms that we cherish as Americans. So take a few moments and remember those who gave and paid the ultimate sacrifice. There's a saying that I learned while I was in the military and that saying goes, all gave some, but some gave all. And uh, we can all be thankful for their sacrifice. So um, with that, I'm going to wrap this up and say until next time, cheers.